Hi everyone, it's Veronica. Um, this video is going to be my Sephora haul and then a couple other things I picked up this weekend, but mainly just what I got at the Sephora friends and family sale. So I will start off with self tanners. I did buy a couple self tanning products. Um, this is one of my favorite ones. It's the Clarins um, SPF 6 Tanning Milk. And I'll show you what the bottle looks like just so you can see it's this size. And um, this particular product I use only on my face. It is expensive. I think it's about $30 for this bottle. So I do only apply this to my face and neck when, and then I use a different self tanner on my body. I really love this product. I've been using it for se several years and it does also have an SPF 6. So sometimes when I'm on vacation, um, I'll combine this with a higher SPF for my face just so my fit, cause I use like an SPF 60 when I'm on the beach so my face doesn't really get color. Plus I wear like one of those massive wide brimmed hats on my face when I'm on the beach. So I'm not really getting a tan or any color whatsoever. So I like to use a little self tanner mixed with my sunscreen so that my face actually has some color and isn't super pale. So I love that. The second self tanning product I got is the St. Tropez self tan. Um, this is not available in Sephora stores, but you can still get it online, which is awesome. Um, and this one comes in like a pump bottle. So this is what it looks like. And again, this is super pricey. It's about $40 um, a bottle. And it's like this horrific, dark, dark, dark. See what I'm saying? Um, it's like a horrific dark brown color in the bottle and you see it and you think to yourself, oh my gosh, am I really going to put this on my skin? But I promise you when, when blended out correctly and applied, um, well, this gives the most beautiful, beautiful dark tan. It looks like you've just been on the beach for a week. It doesn't have any fake or orange, um, this to it. And because it was 20% off, that's why I kind of splurged on this one. I usually wouldn't pay $40 for it, but if you really think about it, if you pay about, you know, 35 to 40 or $50 for a spray tan done by an airbrush, this bottle you can use for several tans and it's $40. So it, it is a good deal if you think about it that way. Um, another bronzing, pro oh geez, another bronzing product that I got is this NARS Laguna bronzer. Um, I'm not going to, everyone knows what it looks like, but, um, I use this every single day as my bronzer. I'm also using um, the Bobbi Brown light bronzer, which I like, but most of the time, you know, 80% of the time I'll use this one and I really love this. So I just got a refill of it because I thought, you know, I might as well get it while it's 20% off. And then I got the Benefit Eye Bright Pencil. Um, I mean, I've talked about this so many times that I feel like I shouldn't even go further into it, but this is what the full size looks like the pink pencil that I use to line um, the inner corners of my eyes. So love this. Um, and then the next thing I got was something I've never used before. It's the Kate Somerville Exfolicate um, Deep Exfoliating Treatment. I've actually not opened this, so I'm wondering, this bottle was like $20 and I thought it would be larger, but it's definitely not. It was $19 plus the 20% off, so it's teeny tiny, um, but I, I have used a sample of this before and I really loved it and this just gets really rave reviews like a lot of celebrities go to the Kate Somerville spa and get skin treatment so I just thought what the heck for 20% off I'll give it a try and see if I really love it because I do need to exfoliate more that's something that I lack on a lot I don't exfoliate my skin like I should and I need to really start getting back to that to doing that um, and then of course I got my one of my holy grail hair products the Fido de Frisant Botanical Hair Relaxing Balm by Fido. And this is like, I mean, it's won like Allure Beauty Awards. It is one of the best blowout treatments you can put in. And when, when it says relaxing balm, like it's not one of those things where, oh, you know, you put it in and then you can never curl your hair after. For me, it's just an awesome conditioning defrizzing product. And that's what the bottle looks like. So again, this is just one of my favorite, most holy grail products that I'll always, always continue to repurchase because the results are just so awesome. And then something I'm taking a chance on is this um, Fido, it's also by Fido, Fido Carotene. It's a shampoo and it's supposed to just help. It says here, you know, repairs hair, stronger hair, prevents breakage. And, um, you know, a lot of people tell me, oh, you know, Veronica, I love your hair. Your hair's so great. And like, you know, I style my hair and I get it colored and I do my best to make it look good. But to be quite honest with you, my hair is extremely damaged and I do um, get a lot of breakage on the ends of my hair. Um, and 
I, I when I was growing up I had really baby fine hair um, like to the point where my mom was like afraid that my hair was never gonna get thicker and then as I grew up it did but you know I, ha I have a lot of hair but it's really fine so it is prone to breakage I have tons of split ends I am due for a haircut as I've mentioned um, so I'm, I'm really excited to try this because I have been pleased with Fido products and that's what the bottle looks like it's like a it's kind of like a weird metal I don't know if that like preserves it or something but it's the packaging's kind of I mean I like it but it's kind of random so that's what the bottle looks like there and I will report back on how I like that because I have been um you know trying different shampoos throughout the year so that is all my Sephora stuff I do want to say um some of you might be thinking where is the Sir the Sergey Norman um dry shampoo and I thought I ordered it but when my order came in it was missing and I was like you know, I'm, I'm looking at my order slip trying to figure out, you know, why they didn't send it and it wasn't in my order. So I must have not clicked like add to basket. I must have not reviewed it correctly, but I am planning on buying a couple bottles of those before the FNF sale is over. So I will be getting that because I love it. It's amazing. So um, my other purchases for today, I just have a few. Um, one of them is these hot pink mittens from Old Navy and they were $12.94, but I um, got them for 25% off because I had a coupon, of course, never pay full price for anything. And they're just like these adorable little um, hot pink mittens. And they just, they have like the little, oh, this is the wrong hand, but they have like the little thumb hole and then they have the little part that goes over your hand. And then you have like, hello, hello mitten. You have like a little mitten. So super cute. I just, I loved the bright bold color. I tend to wear, again, a lot of dark colors in the fall. So I love having bright accessories to pair them with. And they match my Marc Jacobs bag. And then from Banana Republic um, this weekend, I actually got this sweater. I'm going to stand up and show you. It's like, um, I'm wearing sweatpants. Like, just like news anchors wear weird pants. I'm wearing sweatpants. So it's just this pink sweater with gold buttons and then it has the long sleeves and the sleeves have like little a little metallic rim and it's just a, a nice v-neck shape and this sweater was i think about 60 or 70 dollars and it was 40 percent off so everything in the store right now is 40 percent off so i really love this sweater i thought it was such a it actually is the exact same color as my mark jacobs hot pink bag so it like matches perfectly it's a little overkill but i don't know i wore it with like jeans and black today so it looked cute um and then the, the other thing i got from banana republic is this jacket i don't know if you're going to be able to see it but it it's like a military style jacket and then it has like gold buttons going down and it has the little um pockets at the front and then it's got like a little belt not sure if i'm going to use that i might take it off and then it's got like the little um lining so this jacket was originally 150 which I would never ever pay, but I did get it for 40% off, which I thought was a pretty awesome deal because it's like a nicely constructed jacket. The material's wonderful. It has like all the lining in the sleeves. The nice um, gold hardware is really pretty. So I do love this jacket. The only thing that's weird is I was actually looking for like a, an, like a dark olive colored jacket, like that army green. And then I tried it on. I'm like, I love it. I'm going to get it. And I'm standing in line and I'm like, is this jacket green or is it dark brown? Cause the, the collar here is like dark brown, but I kept looking at it. So I had to ask someone in line behind me and I was like, is this jacket green or is it dark brown? And she's like, well, I think it's more brown, but you're right. Like it does have a green tinge to it. So I think it is dark brown, um, definitely, but it does have like kind of like an olive tinge to it. And I just really love it. I mean, at the end of the day, you just have to buy what you love and I ended up out of all the military style jackets I've looked at this one um, the fit was just the best the, the gold hardware it just looked more expensive than all the I mean it was more expensive even though I got a discount but it just looked nicer than all the other ones I tried on so I love that um, and then also just FYI um, Banana Republic right now is giving away these coupons and it's for Friday, November 11th or Saturday, November 12th. And it says come in and enjoy 30 to 50% off one full price item. So it looks like that. So if you shop this weekend, you'll get this coupon for the upcoming two weeks from now um, to get 30 or 50% off. So make sure you hang on to these because um, it's just another opportunity for a discount. And they have lots of cute stuff right now. Um, and then lastly, I, um, I went to Target with my husband and we just picked up a couple things and um, I bought these um, Dr. Scholl's 
heel liners and rub relief strips. I have this one pair of shoes um, and they, you know, I don't need like a ball of foot cushion or anything like that. The, the problem with them is that they rub, like it has like a pointed toe and they rub my pinky toe just in a bad spot. And the more I wear them, like the more it hurts um, that spot. So I got these rub strips, which I have purchased before. Um, and I'm going to use them to put wherever it rubs in my shoe so it stops hurting. And then these heel liners are just for, one of my Ivanka Trump shoes are a little too big for me, so I'm just putting this heel liner in the back of them to make them a little smaller and fit a little better and stop the sliding. Um, and then, oh, one more Target purchase, this basket. Um, I love these baskets. They're so multi-purpose. I'm actually, if you can, I changed the way I film. I'm filming now behind my Ikea bookshelf and I just stick these in there and you can use them for storage for whatever you need. And those are $12.99 a piece at Target. So I love those. And then lastly, my very, very last thing is these um, Hue Ultra Cut Low Cut Liners. Um, I tend to like, when you wear flats sometimes and stuff, it tends to rub. So what I'm trying to do is um, testing these cotton um, little like things you put over your feet to see if it's gonna make them um, more comfortable. So here's to hoping it will. And then um, lastly, just wanna mention, cause I, I know everyone will ask um, at the end of this video, the nail polish I'm wearing is just OPI's Linkin Park After Dark. And actually, if, if I come a little closer, you'll notice that my ring finger on each um, hand has um, glitter nail polish. So I did one, my ring finger on each hand and it, it's um, it's just Sephora, the, whatever the gold glitter nail polish is, just clear with gold glitter, that's the one it is. And I really love that. And you know, it's fun for the weekends to add a little sparkle and you know, it's Halloween. So I figured the perfect opportunity to add a little sparkle. Anyways, thanks so much everyone for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And let me know what you think about this background for filming. Cause I think it looks a little more exciting than um a plain wall and then also you'll notice i have some fashion books behind me like i have victoria beckham's book and i have lauren conrad's and i have rachel zoe's book and i have the who what who what where book which is this one right here um so let me know if any of you would be interested in me doing a video kind of breaking down each book and sort of what it offers and like which which book is right for you know which occasion or which kind of person so this one's actually awesome the who what wear or what to wear wear from the who what wear daily people um highly recommend this one i actually really enjoyed reading all of them but you know each one is kind of targeted at different things um so let me know if you'd like me to make a video on that because I think that would be fun. And if you guys want to see it, I'm more than happy to film it. So anyways, I'm saying, signing off again, saying goodbye. And I hope everyone has an awesome weekend. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.